Hey. Hello, how may I help you? I would, uh, give me your strongest drink. Just price up, up a factor into the Just equation. give me your strongest drink. I can do that, sir. Bourbon on ice and Coke. How about hold the bourbon? Okay. Whiskey on ice on the Coke. I said hold the whiskey as well. I said hold the bourbon. And whiskey. Okay, fine. Red wine on ice on the Coke. Hold the red wine. What do you want from me? I want Coke. You want Coke? No, I don't. I want iced. On the, I want Coke on the rocks. Coke on the rocks with bourbon. Hold the bourbon. Sir, this is a bar. I need you to order some with alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> a bar that you have to order alcohol at. Okay, this is new to me. Okay, so. When have you ever gone to a bar and ordered Coke? Uh, yesterday. At which bar? Uh, Steve's round, Roundhouse down the corner. That is not a bar. That is a kid's playhouse. It's a bar to me. Okay. But how old are you? Can I see your uh, ID? No, you can't. I have to see your ID. No, you don't. Show you That's the bouncer's job, not you. Well, too bad. Go back to the bouncer then. Bouncer. I want a alcoholic beverage. Hold the alcohol. Okay. Keep the coat. Here's a beverage. Is there alcohol in it? Taste it and find out. I don't trust you. How about whiskey with Coke on the rocks? Hold the whiskey. If you want Coke, just ask for it. I thought you just said you're not allowed to order non-alcoholic drinks. There I don't you trust go. you. There you go. This looks... Drink it. It's good. This doesn't don't look... Don't drink it first? I'll drink it first. Okay, drink it. Now you have your germs on it. Oh, go crap. I don't want it. You have to pay for it. No, uh, I don't. You paid for it. Nuh uh. Your bill. Nuh uh. That'd you can't do that. $16.99. No, you would can't. Would you like that do on your tab or would you like to pay no, for that now? Uh, tab. Okay. I just start running. <laughs> Did you actually? I'm blind. You <laughs> win. Okay. Well, welcome back to Lemon Joe's podcast. I guess it's a podcast. I guess so. We do podcasting sometimes. We don't condone bars. How was your day today? Work. Work? Like always. No? You, this is like your second day at work. Still, but like always. First full I've day at work this year, pretty much. I've always worked. No, you haven't. Remember when we used to just pr- quote unquote work? That was the good old days. We used to go to CBS and get Takis and whatnot. Dude, we would get Takis. And it was we'd like, literally mow the lawn at work and then we'd use all the money pretty much to just go to CBS and buy food. This is what we this is what this is what we do. We get there at six o'clock, we'd be in the break room we'd, being we'd, on a playing on the phone. Sleep, complain about being tired, or play on our phones. Or all three. Till seven thirty. That's when we go outside and do parkour. Yeah. Then at seven thirty we did parkour. And then we got, we'd get inside, and then we were like, we'd probably do some sweeping or something because we needed to be productive. And then, and then after the sweeping or something like that, we would just go and mess around inside, like mess with machines that we 100% were supposed to be messing with. And then climb on things. And then throw big old handfuls of sawdust all over the shop. And then have to end up cleaning it up. And then getting paid to clean it up. (laughs) Yeah, let's go. Dude, we were fraud. We did fraud. We were so smart. We were the fraud. We were smart. Oh, yeah, the good old days. And then we'd like make, make we'd cut pieces of wood together, put them in saran wrap, and then just throw them in the dumpster, because pretending we thought that it was cool. We were like, "Dude, we're so cool." And then we drank all the pop that was there, even though it was for the employees. Yeah, we drank like. <laughs> and then it was fine though. And then I, like I then that one summer I bought a a crappy action camera, and I started we started filming the <laughs> we started filming our stinking parkour stuff. I still have one on my phone. That I, right. that I recorded on my phone. You were a baby. You I was a child. baby. Your voice was hot. Dude, I listened to myself like literally five years ago. And I'm, I'm like, dude, I'm literally a girl. My voice is so <laughs> high pitched. It's like, hey, can I tell you? Can? And when I was young, I was like, dude, I sound so manly. I'm like a big man. And then now I look back and I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> Patrick, Nick is saying you sound like a girl. <laughs> I am saying that 100%. Dude, yesterday we played 2K, bro. 
Korea for you. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun. It's a little no dip. 2K is kind of fun. The 2K is fun. 2K is pretty fun. Especially, I didn't, I never played like full on teams before. Like fun. the quick play thing. It was pretty fun. That's fun. Me and Denver. Okay, so if you don't like basketball, probably just tune out for a good minute. Um, I'm tuning out now. <laughs> Uh, what? Okay, fine. No! Well, the Lakers no! Lost, like, the Shut up! Gone, which is I have a story! So, after you left, weirdly, My mom told like, me to. you're like, oh, guys, I don't like you. I'm going to go home. <laughs> That's exactly what That's I exactly said. That's exactly what he said. Exactly what I said. Uh, so, me and Denver played. I played the Warriors. He played the Sun? No. Wait, like the ones that we had before? And no, he played a different team. I played Warriors. We did like Again? three games. I thought you said the Warriors weren't good enough for you. Yeah, that switch back to them because I need no, 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 no. Back to them. Which Wait, one is uh, freaking D Brooks? Mavericks. Wait, Dylan Brooks. I think that's Grizzlies. No, then it's not that. Who is that Kyrie guy? Kyrie Irving. Ky that's the Mavericks. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. So I I did the Mavericks, and dude, Kyrie Irving. Okay, so like you know how it goes. Denver makes literally nineteen. I think he had. I think he. What was it? Like twenty three out of like twenty eight threes on his one shooter that he had. He made. He like ended the game like at a hundred points, but so he was ahead by like twenty points the entire game, and then I, then the last quarter, there's about three minutes left in the last quarter. He's still up by like twenty. He was at like, I'm gonna say like eighty six, and I was at like sixty five or something like that, and and so. I started the greatest comeback of history. Like, so I figured out that D Brooks just Till D Brooks, Dylan Brooks is on K the Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, he's a little fast boy, and and I would just just do so many shots. I got him on fire, and I just I caught up. I was within five points of him, and he still lost. And I still lost. like Al dude, both. He no. ended the game with what forty two points, I think it was, and I didn't oh, start Kyrie using Irving. him. Irving. Like, it was, like he it was a lot. It was really good. And now I want to play again. You want to play? <laughs> I'm play? so down. Except I have stuff to do at home. Dang it! Well, just quit. Just don't do it. Okay. Well, I could. Maybe my mom doesn't need my help anymore. Ma'am, I have to play football. Wait a minute. I also, have, I also have stuff. I also have. Yeah. That's tonight. It's so. We can early. talk about that not on the podcast. Why not? It's irrelevant. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm playing softball with our school. Are you going to win? Probably not. I thought you are out of school. I am at school. So why are you playing with them? Because I have to. Well, no, I don't what? have to. I don't have to. But they have like a they like So I have pick, our school picnic. You just don't graduate this if coming, you don't. This coming Saturday. Yeah. Our 7th and 8th graders play the U. Or no. At the picnic, 7th and 8th graders always play the like their, their dads. That's mm -hmm. not fault. Just... They always, they've always done that. That's just our thing. Yeah. So to practice for that, they always have the Ro Rosewood youth play seventh and eighth graders to practice. That's what that game is tonight. And I'm playing, <clears throat> and Rosewood is missing. Oh no, the school is missing a couple guy, a couple people. So they asked if I had to fill in for them. And I like softball, so yeah, I said yeah. I said yes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Look at you go, being all. I know. I don't know what you do. I don't like softball or baseball or basketball. Uh, no, baseball. I, like basketball. I played t-ball one year t-ball. Dude, I played like four years of t-ball. I won all of them. Actually? Yeah, I won every year Jeez. that I played t-ball. I have like three meaningless trophies on my desk. I'm like, brr. And you played one year, and that one year I was so excited because like, buddy. And then I talked to you every time we went around the base, and I got on your home, your your plate, and I was like, was I on a plate? I don't remember, I literally remember like nothing. I remember it all. I remember like s missing so badly they got the tee out, and I just. Dwindled. That's what we all did. Didn't you? No, but like, they, they had a picture though, and if yeah. you did bad enough, you got the tee out. Yeah. And that's what I. You know. I always have the tee. That was bad. That was a was, very bad tee. Wasn't too good. Yeah. yeah I, it would be fun to play baseball, though. Dude, if I anyone needs a baseball player, I've never played baseball before in my life, but if you need someone to play, <laughs> I'll do it badly, but I'll do it. <laughs> no, but if you need someone to play in softball, I am gonna... Why is, there's not a difference. It's just a, the ball is different. The only difference is the ball is bigger. And you can steal. Well, depending on where you play. That... Exactly. So there's no difference. No. But, like, first of all, the pitches are way faster. Yeah, meaning that's a just, big difference. <sighs> and is it though? baseball always has so baseball. The ball so softball's for babies. Is that what you're saying? Softball's for people who don't want to die, even though people still get injured. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Also, I've been behind a softball it's, pitch. They're not that slow. I I mean, shut up. Slower compared to baseball. Well, obviously, they're throwing like 100 miles an hour. Yeah, everyone can do that. Everyone can do that. I can do that. Why can't you? I can. 
Oh. Okay, fine. Dude, I went to the gym directly before we were, we were recording this and just got back. And I got I got into the gym like at like one o'clock. I'm like, no one's going to be here. They're all going to be at work. It's one o'clock on a Tuesday. No one's going to be. And then it's literally busier than it is on a normal day when I normally go after work. Like there's so many retired old people in there <laughs> oh, let's go. that I'm like, bro, literally just bug off. But there's one dude in there. He looked my age, and I and I was I needed to use a machine he was using. So I walked up to him. I was like, "How many sets do you have?" Left? He's like, two. I'm like, "Good job." And he's like, "No, actually, I actually have three. My bad." And I said, "I am so offended How that you lied to me." Dare you? And then he laughed, and I walked off. And then I went and did my own thing. He was done. I used the machine, and then I used a different machine. And then I finished that and I'm like walking around like trying to find to make just seeing if I if anyone's using the machine I need. And then guess who's using the machine I need? An it's old lady. Him again. And I'm like, dude, well, how to do? How's it going? Uh, how many sets do you have left? And he's like, like five. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go do the stairmaster. And then I did the stairmaster, and it sucked. The stairmaster is the worst machine in that entire place. You, I watch my legs literally were on fire. They were burning to death, and I burned 100 calories. 100. That's it. For like, I literally walked like I think it was like 36 something flights of stairs for 100 calories and it sucked the entire way and it was awful and I hate that machine but then but then he was like duh, duh, buh, buh, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like okay and I used the machine that he was using and then I did another machine and then I try to find the machine I need again and guess who it is it's the guy the same stinking guy and I'm like dude we must be doing the exact same chest day and he's like we probably are and then if you're doing chesty why'd you do the stairmaster because i was waiting why don't you just go do some reps or something of what anything i've already done everything that i can do it again why then, then, then i can't do the exercise i'm doing next properly because i'll be too tired on all my muscles sounds like maybe just be stronger okay says the guy who doesn't go to the gym i don't need to go to the gym Sure thing. I'm confident. Sure thing. Uh, are you though? I am. You shouldn't be. No, I'm I know. I'm not saying I'm buff. Um. And and then he's like, "Well, that's hilarious." And then why do you have to ask him how many reps he has left? Because or sets, I mean, because that just tells me how long he's going to be using the machine yet. Why does it matter? You have because to wait no matter where where it is. No, or just because sometimes if it's like if he just started, I can maybe go do another machine. Maybe I can move my schedule around a little bit. Start on another machine. And then by the time I'm done, he'll be done. That's why you ask. Why don't you just take it from him, push him off and take it? Push it. <laughs> push it. And then I used that machine when he was done. And then I walk, and I'm like, okay, I got to go. Tuesday's going to be mad at me if I'm not here, if I'm not back on time. I going to be mad at you. I and, was prepared to be mad. <laughs> and then, and so I just, I rush, I rush into the locker room to grab my stuff. And who is it? It's this guy. And he's like, wow, we must have done the exact same chest day. I'm like, we probably did. And then I, I dapped him up. Again? I dapped him up. And, and he's like, what's your name? My name's Nick. And I'm like, what's your name? And he's like, Kevin. And I'm like, and he's like, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 17. And he's like, he's like, ha, I'm 18. And he's like, but you're taller. And then we like, we just did a fist bump and I walked away. And now we're best buds. Do you have a snap? No. Do you have anybody to contact nope. him? Okay. I know that he goes to the gym on Tuesdays at one o'clock. There you go. But that means he might think you go to the gym on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. I do. All the time. You said a normal day is after work. No, I'm like, I. some days I go before. I mean, but my <laughs> Tuesdays. <laughs> shut the frick up. Lied Tuesdays, you I go at 1. And then uh, Fridays and Saturdays, I go after work with Brady and Corbett, okay? Go cry about it. Sure you do. I mean, you wouldn't know. You don't go to a gym. <laughs> yeah, so now my best bud's name is Kevin. Kevin Looney? That's Kevin. From the boy. He said it exactly like this. Kevin. That's exactly how he said it. But he was not Amish. Surprisingly. Was he a J.O.? Nope. How do you know? Because he did not look like one. He looked way too cool to be a J.O. He looked too cool to be a What does J.O. stand for? I mean, it's like... Juvenile Omish. <laughs> it's like... I think it's an acronym for like jumped over the fence because they like went bad or whatever. Not bad. Jumped off a bridge? Nope. Dang. I only... Ah, something like that. It's close. Jump off the cliff. Do it right now. That's jot. If you're skydiving with a parachute or without, maybe you have a wingsuit. Saved it. 
Um, good save. <laughs> good, good save. Yeah, yeah, while you were doing that, I was like working and making money. I mean, I was working too, just for my physical gain instead of my financial. Well, I'm gonna go work for my physical gain today. Are you though? Yep. I hit the ball and run away. Run! Oh! Wait. Yeah, I just stand by the fact that the stairmaster is the worst machine ever. Sucks. Just like the treadmill, except the stairmaster is worse. No, like I, I, I hate treadmills. I'd rather go get outside. I like. Outside. I would much rather run on a treadmill than outside. I like outside. It's pretty outside. I don't care. Okay. But then people watch you outside, and I'm like, oh. people watch you in the tread on the treadmill. No, not really. I mean, obviously don't watch you, but they can look over and see you there. Just like no one's gonna. But I look less by weird. You, not gonna. That's exactly what happens to me. No, I don't believe you. Because I'm always shirtless and I'm just rippling. Why abs. are you shirtless? I'm not. Are you shirtless at the gym? <laughs> you know it. Oh. No, not if I go to the gym, I'm going pantsless. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's not what I was doing, but okay. That's what you were doing. Oh, I was doing I literally that. saw you. I, you I literally got me. You literally got me. I saw there. I videoed you. you see video. Video. Dang it. Okay, post it on the Patreon. Patreon. No, okay. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Lemon Podcast for the video of this episode. Just saying. I don't know. I'm just, just a thought. Like Boom. Gotcha. That's your brother. Nope, that's you. Dang it. Gotcha. Stood no chance. Stood no chance. Stood Dude, the entire time while I was working out, there was a lady in there just sweeping all around the gym, and it was funny. I'm like, <laughs> you have to sweep. I think you were quite... Dude, I seen a Mennonite lady there at the gym. I was like, bruh. Never seen a Mennonite lady there. She wearing like a skirt? She was, actually. Wow, good She was wearing job. leggings and a skirt. I'm like... How do you know she's wearing leggings? Because I could see uh, them. They went down below her skirt. Nick was looking you at her legs. You pathetic le piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was looking at her kneecap, guys. Of the Japan oh my goodness, group. I saw her ankles. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are covered by her leggings. What? Her, her ankle? Jeez, good job for her. Yeah. Did you recognize her? Nope. Why not? She, she looked married. Like, I'm supposed to know her. I'm supposed to know her, How yeah. old was she looking? She looked 35. Oh, old person. Yeah. What was your last name? <laughs> Probably um uh, Schwartz. I don't know. That's exa I'm not kidding. <laughs> I was thinking Schwartz. Probably. Schwartz. Schwastika? I mean, uh, I don't get it. Uh, Schwashbuckler. That's what I meant to say. Uh, I don't know what that means. You know the the. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I know exactly what he did. That's that. <gasps> <gasps> no, TJ. <laughs> oh no, TJ. Oh no, you goofball. I, you can't do I've that been here. A silly goof. You can't do that here. I didn't do it. You didn't. Okay, I. Okay, I hate Apple so much. Okay, my hate for Apple grows by the second. Well, then you can keep that to yourself. <sighs> no, you're gonna listen to it because okay. it's bullcrap. I go to Walmart. I buy a twenty-five dollar piece of cord that is just an aux to USB-C. And like, this is probably the best thing because Apple makes premium products, right? It just, it's just, obviously it's gonna be probably the best. And so I bought it, I bought it, you know? And then, and then I'm like, dude, my car sounds really quiet because that's what I was using it for, an aux to USB-C to get my phone. I'm like, my car sounds quiet. It's probably my car's fault because I spent a lot of money on a freaking cord. And, and so I'm like, bro, this is not cool. And then after a few months, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try a different cord just to see, just to make sure that's the problem. And I go on Amazon, $12. I spent $12 on a freaking cord. And it literally works a bajillion times better than Maybe Apple's have an dumb Apple. 25. That, that's not, it doesn't say specifically for Apple. It just says an aux to USB-C adapter. If it was specifically for Apple, they should say that. So I don't spend their my money on their dumb product. It is so annoying. Why should I buy a Samsung one? Because Sam, I, there wasn't there. I didn't see any in the Walmart. Why did you go to Walmart to buy something? Because okay, that's okay, I don't it, was on, it was on my way. Walmart's fault. I, because I was on my way home from Boston, okay, and I was like, okay. I don't have time to go to Amazon, order something off Amazon, or try to find a Samsung score. I was at Walmart, and so I went into the Walmart and I bought the best thing I saw, and that's what I bought. Okay, boom. And it didn't. So stupid. What? Very annoying. Okay. Apple's gay. <laughs> okay. You have to admit that's very stupid. That is pretty stupid, but I'm sure they have reason for it. Oh yeah, the reason is they're cheap seats. <laughs> that's the reason. Mm-hmm. And maybe you didn't have your volume. But... Uh, really? Thank you, DJ. Yes, Thank sir. you for that wonderful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> Are you done ranting? Are you okay now? I'm done ranting about Breathe Apple. A little bit. Breathe in. 
again. <laughs> Feel it again. <laughs> then it Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Oh, I watched that. We watched that last I night. I watched it. It was pre I I enjoyed it a lot. I really enjoyed that. I, I admit the plot is a little bit weak, especially near the end, but it still is a fantastic I did, movie. I did like the movie except for the plot. The aesthetics of it what do you give was cool. It, what, what do you give it? The vibe of it was cool. Out of it 10. was a pretty cool. Out of 10, what do you give it? Four. Really? But it's be it was better than Thor Ragnarok. So. Yeah. I'll give it a five, actually. You, like, just, I, I you, just, you just made a mistake because you just said it was better than Thor Ragnarok? Hmm. <laughs> I I did make a mistake there. That is my fault. Must it apologize formally. Best. Thor Ragnarok is the best Marvel movie ever made. It is academic. It is cinem Acad cin cinematically academic. Best movie climbed. on the planet. Not the best movie on the planet. Best Marvel movie. Best Marvel movie. Yes, I have to agree. Qu uh, Ant Man: Quantumania is better than Thor: Love. Tiger White did a great job on that one. Very true. Thor: Love and Thunder was a two out of ten. Three out of ten. For me, three out of 10. it was like a four. It was a four. But I think when you watch each other, that was the best movie you've ever watched in your entire life. Or best Marvel movie, at least. I it was at the time. And then so I somehow it was the best one, a 9 or 8 or ten, eight to 10. And it will drop to a 4 because we watched Ant-Man Quantumania? Yeah. How, My standards how? were very, very low, okay? I was just happy that that they didn't make a complete garbage fest. They like, did. No, but like I'm, I'm talking about like like a libertarian like piece of garbage. like just she hulk a, Pretty much, yeah. I'm just glad that it wasn't horrible, okay? And so I gave it a better rating than it probably was worth. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll forgive. I'll forgive. I hate you. I hate you. I'm yeah, I, I thoroughly, I, I give, I give M and Quantumania, M and Watch Quantumania a nine. It was good. It was fun. It was, it was adventurous. It was well CGI. It, it, I mean, CGI, CGI wasn't bad. It was mid. Mid? That is like some for, of the greatest CGI. For some scenes, it did like I didn't just like stand out to me. Like some scenes actually like I mean it wasn't bad, but like there was some like it was good overall. But for some scenes, it didn't look like it was just the best. That is some of like the highest grade CGI I've seen. Like the budget for just the CGI was probably over like seventy million dollars. I bet. Let me look up. Let me look up right now what the budget for that it was because everyone wants to know what was the budget. For Ant Man and the Wasp. Wasp. Ant Man and the Wasp. Schweitzer. Schweitzer. Come on. Come on. What? Come on. Look at it. Did you find it? Look at it again. Find it. Come on. You got it. The whole entire budget was two hundred million. I don't know. Oh no! Well, it was probably like a crap ton because that, like, that movie relied so much on CGI. It was, it's not even okay. Like the whole movie was CGI. Yeah, pretty much. Literally, no, literally. Because when you're literally in the quantum realm, everything about the realm is pretty much CGI. Yeah, I did like the realm. It was cool. They had cool as they cool had effects, cool. aesthetics. I heard some people give it a two, but and the, I'm like, what the freak? But the vibe. But I'm not not the vibe. The but the writing the was vibe. bad. All right, it wasn't the greatest. Kind of disappointed, okay. but we're definitely going to see Kang again. It, no, it, it says Kang will return. <laughs> no, but like, no, it doesn't. If it did, at the end of the movie, it said, like, after the second end credits, it said Kang will return. Yeah, there's like a thousand different variants. They could be meaning, I'm thinking, it's talking about specifically, because literally one of the movie is called like Avengers something about the Kang something something. Avengers where like the Avengers, where the Avengers fight Kang and all their variants, but... Like, I'm talking about this specific Kang. He's 100% coming back. He just got shrunk to a different kind of... Maybe we'll see a big-headed <laughs> Kang. Oh, my Dude, goodness. Just like oh, he Darren. shrank into another quantum realm. I mean, yeah, that's literally how it works. So dumb. No? Yeah. Why? So you, just, so you can just continue shrinking till you till you just you can't. Pretty much. You can always be smaller. Yep. That's dumb. So you if know, they want, like... I'm going to quote... Pa no, I'm going to so quote... Dumb. Who is the... You can always be bigger, look thinner. Wait a minute. You can always be bigger, look skinnier. You that, can always be... Is that lean beef patty? Who are you quoting? Patrick Bateman. I don't know who Patrick Bateman is. Christian Bale. Oh, I don't know who Christian Bale is. That's who I'm quoting. You can always be... 
You can always what? be bigger than the smallest human. I forget what the exact quote is. I think it's always be thinner, look better. Why? Oh yeah, I turned off my Wi-Fi for some reason. Why'd you have your Wi-Fi, you idiot? Because the Wi-Fi in the gym sucked for some reason that day. It was really oh, annoying. Oh, anyway. Hmm. Okay, so... In... I'm on a diet, but thank you. No need to lose any weight. You're kidding, right? You look great. Very fit. You can always be thinner. Look better. Yep. That, that's it. You that's can it. always look thinner, look better. You can always look thinner, be better, look better, be cooler. Just because you're thinner doesn't mean if you're already skinny and you get even thinner, that's not healthy. That's not. You can not always you better. look better, be thinner. That's not what he said. He said be thinner. You can always be thinner, look better. Yeah. You can always be better. I don't know. <laughs> Christian Bale is a weirdo. Christian, it's, he didn't. He didn't write the line. He, that might have been improvised. I don't. Uh, might have been improvised. Was you saying all those? I typed your symptoms in the computer. It says you have network, network connectivity <laughs> problems. Yeah, that was him. That was that a great was piece funny. of info. That was a great piece. Typed your symptoms into the computer, and it says you have uh, network connectivity problems. He said it was such a serious thing. Was- yeah. <laughs> Funny stuff, funny stuff. He, that show is great. Let's talk about that. Parks and Recreation, a very funny show. No. GMM. Good mythical morning. I'm not stealing it. Uh, copy- uh, uh, copyrighted, you're copyrighted. going to jail. That, that probably is copyrighted. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I can say words, though. I just can't put it on a t-shirt, right? I mean, as long as you're one. not making a profit from it, pretty much, is what they're going off of. So, are you making money from this podcast? I didn't say the last word. They can't. They, they, good no, morning. I'm just saying these words out of order. Mm, mythical good, good morning. Morning mythical good. Okay. Morning mythical good. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. You should go watch them. Dude, that like that's my childhood, bro. Watching them would like live my childhood, bro. Lit my and childhood. And therapy. Let's go. Dude, that. Okay, remember the hydraulic press channel? Remember when yeah. Joe recommended that to us? We used to just watch hydraulic pressing presses of pressing stuff press. That was great. It was just called squish. Just go Every time it was like squish it was in a different squish. way. We're like, whoa, this That's is so interesting. Go, squish and then like, squish. Remember Smile More? Or what? I, I, I Dude. Forget, I forget what the actual Roman had. Atwood. Roman Atwood. There you go. He was also my childhood. Yeah, he was. Pretty Is he ragged. still going? Not. I think so, actually. I haven't watched him in years. I think it definitely took like a long break, but I think he's back. He, owns a, he just bought a helicopter, so he's clearly making money. Another one was... Um, uh, Really Demolition Ranch was one for me. Um, what was it? Uh, Danty DM. No, it was Mark uh, Clark. He's dead. He's dead. I think he died of a heart, random heart attack. He was still young, but he died. What? Um, Ziz? No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not sure if you watch him or not. You might have. But Ziz, uh, that's exactly no. what happened to Ziz. He was a bodybuilder. Died of a heart a attack. Bodybuilder. He made random stuff. Uh, King of Random. King of Random. He just made random stuff. I'm pretty sure he's dead. King of Random. What? I don't remember this. King. <gasps> yes. No. Yeah, I remember this guy. Grant Thompson. Grant, dude. I remember. I watched this guy Is so he? much. Yeah, he's yep, dead. He died in 2019. Dang it, man. His channel's still that going. Is so though. sad. He was so he cool. He's such a cool guy. Wait. I want to. S- wait. Wait. Who, who keeps it going? His crew. I mean, I don't know. King of Random. Bruh. Par- he died in paragliding accident in Utah. So yeah, sad. Heart attack, am I right? So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought it was like... Yeah, well, the last video was three days ago. Yeah, so... It says I still post. 12 million subscribers. Yeah, poor guy. He's a cool guy. I remember I remember when I when I heard about his death and I was I was like, no. Cause remember he took the one video where he like took the late took the magnifying glass, big old magnifying glass thing, like melted rock. That was so cool. He was a cool guy. He was a cool guy. In fact, we made some we me and Brady made some of his stuff one time. What? What? We made um, a blow dart, a like a blow gun. We both made one. And then Brady went and bought like and there was like a mouse trap gun. Oh. My I didn't make that. Video. My parents one year for Christmas gave me a book. I forget what the book was called, but it was something like along the lines of like, um, 
like a book of how to make end of the world weapons or something like that. Like end of the world, it's like survival sort of like weapons. And I was like, I bet you were like like a like a hot glue stick gun pen like launcher and launch pens and like yeah, it was like uh, yeah, you need that at the end of the world. <laughs> you like pew pew, but it was like a bunch of fun kid stuff where you just build things. It was Dude, really fun. I I had one. Of the, I mean, it wasn't like I mean, it was like this cool stuff you can make. It mm-hmm. was really cool. Yeah. Never made one. Because I made. We, we never had. We never had enough of those supplies. Yeah, my actually parents would go like we. They'd take me to like Walmart or something. My mom said she would. I just completely forgot about it. I better <laughs> have that book. I wonder if she'd still take me. Oh wait. <laughs> no, I have real money. I have this to, is this I stupid. Have to my own. And I have to pay, drive myself. This is so sad. I don't like it anymore. That's my reaction to being. Walmart reminds adult. me of McDonald's. It does. It's the cheap thing, except not. But Walmart has the. But okay. So. What would the Walmart variant be? Target? But like, what? Target's not that great either. Like, what are you talking about? Like, higher quality? I'm saying, like, Walmart is cheap. McDonald's is cheap. Just if McDonald's raises their prices, no one's going to go to McDonald's. If Walmart raises their prices, no one's going to go to Walmart. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not. You're just, Tell me I'm wrong. are just changing their business model. You're like... Mm. Exactly. They're dumb because McDonald's food is garbage and no one's going to pay $8 for a sandwich. And it meat. sucks. So why would you pay $4 for Except a sandwich? Why would like, you pay anything I for a sandwich like there? Though. I do like it, though. I really enjoy McDonald's. You're going to die. I don't know why I'm dissing on it. McDonald's suck. Except for frappe. Good caramel frappe. When they actually have it. Goodness. They're like... Real for real, ironic. Mm, right? It's meant to be mm, unique. You make your own Stupid. Food. Stupid idiot. Stupid. Okay, I'm gonna name some fast food restaurants. You gotta tell me your favorite one. I'm, I'm gonna name two. You have to give me one of them. Okay. Wendy's and Burger King. Wendy's. Wendy's and DQ. DQ. DQ and Burger King. DQ. DQ and Wendy's. I forget what you said. DQ. Okay, so DQ. DQ and Chick fil A. DQ. DQ and. No! DQ. DQ and Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Okay. Okay. Taco Bell and Burger King. Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. Now we're making progress. Taco Bell and Jack in the Box. Taco Bell. Taco Bell and Raising Canes. Raising Canes. Oh. Raising Canes. And I love fried chicken. Andy's. Okay. No. Yeah. Raising Canes. I don't know why I'm saying that because obviously <laughs> Wendy's beat it. I just like saying that. So more of Okay. Raising Canes and KFC. Raising Canes. Okay. Okay. Raising Canes. And Subway. Subway. I already knew that. I already knew Subway was your favorite. <laughs> you can't beat that. Ah! 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 Raising Canes and Sonic. Oh, I like Sonic. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Um. Carefully, <laughs> raising canes, raising canes, yeah, raising canes. So, would you say raising canes is your number two? Sure, I've actually never had raising canes. Neither have I. Wait, what? No, but like, I but I know I know what they have there, and I know that I like. But if you've never been there, that doesn't count. Well, I'm just saying which one I like more. Okay, doesn't matter if I've been there or not. I like it more. Okay, so that means take everything Nick said with the with just, uh, with just what. I just made it my number two. That doesn't like. How could you make a fast food restaurant your number two with never eating there? Maybe if I eat there, it changed. But currently, that's where it stands. Okay. Okay. Burger King and Arby's. Arby's. Oh, Arby's and DQ. Arby's. Oh, Arby's and Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Arby's and Wendy's. Arby's. Arby's. They're bringing Arby's and Surges, actually. Okay, so Nick likes Arby's. Well, I mean, somewhat. Wait, like you said Taco Bell is better than Arby's? Yes. Okay. So would Arby's be... So Wait, would Taco Bell be a solid number three? Yeah. Yeah. Solid. Okay, where would you rank Wendy's, Burger King, Dairy Queen, and McDonald's? Those four. Where would you rank those? So As Dairy like, Queen's first, Wendy's, Burger King, and then McDonald's. We don't, McDonald's would be uh, so sad. McDonald's is nothing. It's literally nothing. It's nothing to me. I could literally would, <laughs> to drop off the face of the earth. Face of the earth. I would not care at all. I'd be like, oh, finally, people would actually go to a good restaurants now. Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks. Starbucks. Dunkin' Donuts sucks. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna count those. I mean, they're fast food, but that's more drinks. I'm not gonna count that. Yeah. But you said Starbucks. You said you don't like Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Okay. I went what there I, one time. It was bad. What, don't like what, it. what else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing something. You're talking drink places. Drink places. 
You just said Starbucks and Raisin Cane. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what I like drink, drinking this what up. What other drink places are there? There is. There's Dunkin' Donuts. There's Dunkin' Donuts. There's Dunkin' Donuts. I always said Dunkin' there's Donuts. Starbucks. I always... Yeah, see, exactly. It's five places. <laughs> it's a I regional. Guess. That's a coffee shop. That's, okay. not a, that's not an international. Let's let's rate the it's local... It's pretty much the same thing as... Let's rate local coffee shop. Five Lakes wins. Okay. Even better than the Electric Brew? Not take it back. Electric Brew's better. Legendary Grind and the Electric Brew. Electric Brew. Have you been to the Legendary Grind? I think so. It's the one in Middlebury. Oh, yes. Yes, I've been there. Not the Super Brew. Legendary Grind. The one in... Le- the Is one that... The one in right, the, right the, by the furniture the old- store? What? The one by the furniture store? I, the one that was by the old Taco Bell. I mean, it's like a block away from it. I don't think so, then. I don't think so. I've been there one time, because Morgan had a piano recital there one time. Oh. Don't know why. At a, at a coffee shop. Yeah, at a coffee shop. It was yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> I've been to the Electric Brew, like, once. Okay, what Dude, about- the Electric Brew is good. It has good food, good priced food, good coffee, good priced coffee, and a fantastic okay, vibe. What about Das Coffee Hots nope. and- um, uh, I've never been to Das Kitchen Coffee Kitchen Cupboard. Never been to- I've been to Kitchen Cupboard once, because I've never been to Das Coffee House. Uh, kitchen cupboard and legendary grind. No, nope. legendary. Legendary. Electric brew. Okay, what was the first one? <laughs> kitchen cupboard. Electric brew. Electric brew. Solid. Unless you're counting like elect or kitchen cupboard's location next to Millie's, uh, it'd be hard to beat. But I still go with electric brew. Okay, uh, is it super? Oh, Big B. Uh, that we, that, that's another drink one, actually. Big yeah. B and Dunkin' Donuts. Big, 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 big B. Big B. Starbucks. Starbucks. Okay. Starbucks, Big B, Dunkin' Donuts. What's wrong with Dunkin' Donuts? I just don't like it. I kind of like Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I haven't gotten a lot there, so I could probably... I have either. I've had, like, I've had, like, the... I got a chai latte. latte. It sucked. They did not finish it. I dumped it out and I threw it away. Oof. That's unfortunate. Yeah. What are the coffee... Is the, the Super Brew, is that a coffee shop? Super Brew's a coffee shop. They also have Super Brew. Super Brew? Oh, Super Brew. Soup. Brew, brew. That's the one in big, by the McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. I've never been there. I'm neither. I should go there sometime. Hmm, but we already know what we like. <laughs> what other coffee shop? Is that the main ones around here? Do we have coffee shops around? Oh, I'm uh, There's one right a block away from the uh from the electric brew. Like literally, if by standing the electric brew, you can see it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I tried to cross from Beavis and Ash. But I don't know what it's called. I forget. One of my friends works there. Wow, DJ. <laughs> Are they really your friend if you don't even know where they were? Duh. I mean, I went to school. Duh. It's coffee. <laughs> I forget. I'm sorry. But you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The, that place yeah. and Electric Brew. I've never been to that place. I don't know oh, its name. I've been there once. <laughs> and you don't know its name? I forget. Okay. Fine. I'll look it up. Don't look it up. Oh, okay. We don't have time. Uh, okay. I text my mom. <laughs> wait. I need to wait. Okay. I'm, now I'm going to do the same type of thing for you, too. Give me a sec. Are you, are you going to look this stuff up? I have to look up all the red, or fast food names. Okay. I, but I know I missed some. I should have looked it up, doggone it. One, three. Okay. This is not. Okay, this isn't. Okay, freak. Oh, In and Out. 23 it? biggest fast food chains in America? Also, I Subway's would, number one. I wouldn't be, well, I wouldn't be surprised. There's 25,908. Subways in America. How many? 25,908. There's more Dollar Generals. There's a lot of Dollar Bro, okay. Wow, TJ. You're a genius. <laughs> Convenience store time. Um, also, I will not be rating ones I have not been at. And I have not been at a lot of places, so just bear with me. Okay. So. Dut Waffle House and Cracker Barrel. One more. Waffle House or Cracker Barrel? Waffle House. Yeah, let's go. Except I love Cracker Barrel too. But Waffle House is the goat of breakfast. Except it's all day, so I mean, hmm. Waffle House is just a goat. I hop in Waffle House. I hop in Cracker Barrel. Popeye? Wait, what? What'd you say? Oh, Popeye's. I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. Popeye's and KFC. Been, never been to Popeye's. I haven't either. I'm sorry. Bro, I, I feel can't. bad. I should go to restaurants I have not been at. Okay, so I just looked a bunch up and I there's so many I forgot. Okay, Culver's and I'm not. Let's go with Dairy Queen because I know I like Dairy Queen. Culver's and Dairy Queen. Culver's. Oh, okay. Culver's and Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Culver's and Arby's. Arby's. Oh, 
Well, yeah. So would Colbus take number four? Probably. What the frick? Because no, Colbus has really good ice cream, and that's the only reason they're anywhere near there. Also, we are not counting um uh, pizza like the different pizza places in here. Panda Express and Dairy Queen. So you can just get more food at Panda Express. Panda Express. Panda Express. Panda Express. And Taco Bell. Panda, don't run down Taco Bell. Panda Express and Arby's. Panda Express. Oh, so Panda Express takes third. Fourth. I would not put it there, but I'm just saying. Oh. I'm just... I. I like Arby's more, but I would go to Panda Express before that. So you could put it there, but I like Arby's more. Okay. Because it's just fair. You can get you can get you can get more food at Arby's. Did did I say Jack in the Box already? Yes, you did. I said Popeyes. Never been there. Have you been to Whataburger? Nope. Um, They're they're, they're literally only on like Five Guys and Culver's. Five Guys and Culver's. Five Guys. Five Guys and Dairy Queen. Oh, okay. Hold on. There goes that. <laughs> there goes that. Oh, Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake? Steak and Shake. I haven't been there in a long time. I've Last never, time I was there, I was like nine years old. I've never been there. <laughs> it's really fun. My mom, like, my, well, the reason we never go there is because my mom's been there once and hated it. Huh. Why? Why'd you hate it? Just the food was greasy and just... So literally every fast food restaurant well, ever? Like the food was like Your mom's steak. stupid. <laughs> it was like really bad. Okay, so food with Gweezy at my fast food steak restaurant. Steak and Shake and Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Oh, Steak and Shake and Burger King. Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake and Wendy's. Wendy's. Okay. There you go. Okay. 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 Del Taco and Taco Bell. Del Taco and Taco Bell? I've never been to Del Taco. Taco Bell. I've never been to Del Taco. I've never been either. I oh, okay. Few, though. I think I think that's more of a Canadian thing. But Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is good. So you better put it up against something. And Starbucks. Tim Hortons. Oh. Yeah. I like Tim Hortons. Oh. Well, there you go. Also, they're Basket not just, they're not just a Canadian thing. There's one like 20, 40 minutes from my place. Well, like, I, but aren't they mainly in? Like, there's a lot I've of them. I've been to White Castle. Yes. Oh. Okay. They've been there either. Oh, wait. What? White Castle. Oh, I thought you were talking about... There's a place in Michigan called something like that no it's a fast food there's one 36 minutes from our house oh okay so from, from right here so yeah there's a tim hortons pretty close i don't know some of these oh checkers never been there i they passed used to have one in florida we used to always go there and it was busted i did not <laughs> el porio loco no 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 el porio. no okay. no 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 okay okay your turn my turn there we go there we go Start off simple. I don't know. <laughs> we'll start off. We'll start off with the big bangers first. Burger King or Wendy's? Burger King or Wendy's? Burger King. Burger King or Dairy Queen? I'd go Dairy Queen before I go to Burger King. Dairy Queen, KFC. Uh, I would go... KFC has better food, but I would go Dairy Queen before I go to KFC strictly because of the price. Dairy Queen... Or Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell or McDonald's. Taco Bell. Taco Bell or Culver's. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Taco Bell or Panda Express. Panda Express. Panda Express or Jack Panda in the Box. Express. Never been, pa- never been in Jack in the Box, I'll be honest. Panda Express. Panda Express. Versus Arby's. Panda Express. Okay, this one is for ten. We said we're not doing this, but this is too good to pass up. Panda Express or Little Caesars. Panda Express. Mm. Panda Express or Subway. Panda Express. Panda Express or Dairy Queen. Panda Express is my top. T- okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Panda okay. Express or Del Taco. Holy cow! <laughs> Del Taco, hands down. <laughs> hands down. Also, also, never been to Del Taco either. Hmm. Panda Express or Panera Bread. Never been to Panera Bread. You've so. never been to Panera Bread? Go. Go. But I've life changed. I've heard it's good. My all my all the girls and my all the women in my all the women like it in my family. 
Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks. Starbucks can't can't go wrong with a pinkity drinkity. Starbucks versus Tim Hortons. Never been to Tim Hortons. Starbucks versus Five Links. Starbucks because he still can't beat a pinkity drinkity. Main Street versus Starbucks. Oh, I forgot I've never been to Main Street. You should go. Actually I know good. I should. I've also heard that. Um, so boring. Electric Brewer versus Starbucks. Been there once. It's pretty good. I want Starbucks there. because I feel like Dunkin But Donuts. Electric Brew has a way better vibe and you can like if I if I were to go to a coffee shop and to hang out and hang out, yeah. Electric Brew all the way. Yeah. They're cool. Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks. Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> okay. Oh, Dunkin' uh, uh, Starbucks Big B Coffee. Uh Starbucks. Big B is not bad, but I don't like Big B. It's not bad. They have good tea. <sighs> well, there was that one. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Jimmy John's oh. or Subway. Okay. The one time I was at Jimmy John's, I <laughs> This ordered, is your fault. Ordered a sub without bread on accident. The guy was talking about didn't having bread. I thought he was gonna get another bread, but he didn't have bread, so I had a bread without bread. No, he specifically asked you, was like, Do you want the breadless one? And you, and you didn't hear him and you're just like, Yeah. I, want I that thought one. he was just saying something. I thought I thought he was talking about the actual sub. So that is my fault. But because of that one thing, Subway. <laughs> wow. So rude. Have you ever been to Firehouse Subs? Nope. Neither have I. Okay. Subway. Or Jersey Mike's. Never been to Jersey Mike's. Never been to Jersey Mike's. Dang it. What is White Castle? They have... They have sliders too. Uh huh. Never been there. Have you been to In and Out? Uh, nope. Okay, Sonic or McDonald's? Been to Sonic once, but I'm going to McDonald's. Sonic or Hedgehog? Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Zoomy, zoomy. That's pretty much all of them there. We zoomy, went through zoomy. a lot of them fast. Zoomy, zoomy. <laughs> Good job, DJ. You did a great Dustin job. Dustin was playing Mexican music today. Uh, th- that sounds like Dustin. It's Dustin. Oh, was he playing it on speaker? Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. <sighs> Do you have anything else to talk about? Sometimes when I'm lonely. <laughs> sometimes when I sit I down and think. I cry in the shower. Sometimes That's when I sit down and think about my life, I kind of just, just start I get tearing up. And, I, bad, but I and, and then I. PG podcast. And then. <laughs> I think we're both. <laughs> so I think this is good. DJ, <laughs> I didn't say. I'm anything. gonna make that super as loud as I can, and I'm gonna make <laughs> you pay for what you said. The sun goes up. Uh, <laughs> okay, this has been the Lemon Jones podcast. <laughs> we need to go. She just be, she just slipping into the. Well, yeah. Well, I have another thing we could do sometime. Well, what? We're not doing now. Right now. Okay. Thank you for listening to the Lemon podcast. Patreon.com. Video video episodes at patreon.com slash Lemon podcast. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with us. I hope you know what fast food restaurants are good now because Subway is the best. Get wrecked. Um, Panda oh, Express is not. On Instagram at Le- the Lemon Drops podcast. Yeah. Uh, you should DM us what your favorite restaurant is and then maybe you should try it. And the ones that maybe we should try it. The what? And they, and tell us, and then we should try it. Yes. Maybe for a Patreon, we might do that. And for ones that neither of us have tried, tell us ones that you do like of the ones we haven't tried. Yeah. I've been to Sonic once. Never been to In and Out. Never been to. They can go back to us. Like, uh, yeah, they can. We're not <laughs> good luck. Thank you. And uh, and good night. TTFN. Tater tots. Tater tots. For for now. 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 Right now.